Today, we'll be taking a look at Pasco's Discover Freefall system. Um, I'll be showing you how to set it up as well as do some basic data collection. Um, we'll be using the uh, smart timer here to uh, collect our data. Um, so to set this up, um, you'll need the a, at least 120 centimeter rod and 45 centimeter rod with a right angle clamp. Um, and on this, we will have our drop box mounted. You can see there's a cable running here. This cable is going to connect to our control box. Um, this is what interfaces all the other devices together and allows us to use uh, this switch here to control the ball drop. Uh, so first we're gonna plug the uh, control box into power and then we'll take that signal cable that's from the um, drop box here and connect it into there. And the next we will connect our switch you'll see our switch has two uh, quarter inch plugs here. One goes into the smart timer, the other goes into the box here. And make sure you plug this into port one, um, the first port on the uh, smart timer. And then the other to there. And then lastly, we need to connect the time of flight pad here. Um, this will tell the system when to stop uh, collecting time data. And then this will go into uh, port two on the smart timer. All right. So with that, that's the basics of how you set up the uh, free fall system here. Up next, um, I will show you the balls, which are right here. You'll see there's several different types. Um, we have a large hollow plastic ball, um, two golf balls, one is foam, um, the other is just a regular standard golf ball. Um, and then we have a small steel ball um, and a larger one and then a, uh, a plastic and a wooden ball. Um, and the purpose is to explore the effects um, that not only the mass, but also the shape of the ball will have on its free fall. All right, so we have our smart timer here. And to set these balls up, we'll be using these uh, stickers here. And these stickers are what will go on the um, balls in order to attach them to the drop box here. So the way we do this is here's one sticker. Now there's a backing you have to peel off here. Um, this one's a little bit difficult for me. Uh, but after you peel the backing off, you'll place a washer. And it comes with uh, several washers here right in the center, and then you'll place this onto the ball. Uh, so it looks like this, and you'll place this on all the balls that are not steel, um, that require some uh, ferrous material to be held by the magnet. As far as setup goes, um, I have an Excel spreadsheet, just going over each ball, their size, their mass, and then we're gonna run at least six trials on each of these. For the sake of the video, I'm not gonna go through all of them because the procedure is the same for each one. Um, after that, then we'll adjust the height from which the ball is dropped for a steel ball and uh, try to see if we can determine the uh, acceleration due to gravity from that uh, data. Um, so start off, we'll start with the uh, steel ball. Um, you may want some calipers or some kind of measuring device. Um, to measure the diameter of these balls. Okay, 25.4, right where we expect it to be. Right. And so what we'll do here is we'll turn on the smart timer. Then we will select measurement. We want time, we want two gates. Then we'll hit start. And so now it's ready to receive data. So when I press this button, the ball will release. 
It gives us the time of flight for that run. Now you have to make sure before you do the next run, there is a light here on the side of this box that will be blinking. Once it stops blinking, you can do the next run. Uh, so for the large steel ball, 3202, actually I forgot to measure the mass. Sixty sixty-five point eight grams. Okay. And we'll do this again. Hit start. You'll see the asterisk there. That means it's ready to record. And we'll hit the button. Point three two oh eight. Okay, and again, hit start. Hit 3209. And you get the idea. After this, you'll go through and complete this step for all of the balls that you have. And then you'll go through and compare um, the uh, both the diameter and the mass and see which ones are affecting in which way uh, the free fault time. And the next step, um, we'll be adjusting the height of the launch position. Uh, so for this, you will need a, uh, a meter stick or some kind of a long measuring device. And the way I have this table set up, um, we record the fall time here and um, we're calculating the acceleration using the uh, equation um, for fall time and height um, right up here, um, which is in the instructions uh, for this particular lab. Um, so I will just start with an arbitrary height. And you wanna measure from the bottom of the ball to the top of the pad here. Uh, 50 point three. All right. Fifty point three centimeters. And we'll drop it. Point three two oh three, as we should expect. Right, and we will now change the height. We'll adjust this, whoops. What's up? And then same thing once again. Okay. Measure the height. Yeah, it looks like it's about 68.7. I can actually already look here. Um, the acceleration value we got for the first run here um, is off by a factor of 100. Uh, it's because I have this in centimeters, not meters. So if you just move this to the left two places, you'll get the value for acceleration there. Um, same thing. Let's try again for this run. Hit start on the smart timer. Point three seven five. Right, and let's just go a little bit higher.
Okay. We'll put our ball up here. Right. And measure the height again. Luckily, I'm uh, somewhat tall, 77.7. Right, and hit start, and we'll drop the ball again. 3994. Now let's bring it back down. This one's 39.2. Right, hit start on the smart timer again. Really? 0.2833. Okay. And we'll just go down a little bit further, just for good measure. Right, measure again. Twenty five point nine. And we'll hit start on the smart timer and release. Point two two nine nine. Seconds I should probably put that in there. There we go. All right. And you get the idea. If you continue this, um, you'll see a trend here emerge um, that we have, in fact, verified the acceleration due to gravity. Um, and then here you can do your own analysis. Um, you have any questions about the unit? Please let us know. I hope you found this useful.